when I went to that homeschool meeting, I asked several of the people why they bought this book. Because this book is not designed for homeschoolers. And several, two people actually said that I'm buying this for my granddaughter because she has become an atheist. And she's convinced that humans evolved and therefore there is no role for God. They basically put God out of a job. And the main reason, according to Romans 1.20, that we believe <laughs> in God is because of the evidence of our senses. And so when you look at the evidence of the natural world, and a good example would be the human body, which I'm now doing a number of articles about. When you look at the design of the human body, you realize that it has to be designed and created. It did not evolve and could not have evolved. And so that's my uh, focus. And I'm, as far as I know, I'm the only one that looks at things like the evolution of the liver, the lung, the kidney, the, the brain. I recently did an article on the evolution of the tongue. And it's surprising that animals, <laughs> I could talk here, animals either have a tongue or they don't have a tongue. And they can't figure out how the tongue evolved. The theory is, is that the palate in the mouth separated and evolved into a tongue. But of course there's no evidence for that and a tongue would be useless until it works. And of course obviously we need a tongue to swallow food. You could not eat, well, well you could use a tube I guess and consume liquids, but you could not eat without a tongue. You could not talk without a tongue. You would have a lot of things that wouldn't work without a tongue and that's true for all the animals that have tongues. Some have forked tongues, but that's just a modification of the tongue. So basically I concluded that there's no evidence for the evolution of the tongue and I'm hoping to cover pretty much every body part. And the next one I'm looking at is the evolution of certain parts of the brain, like the hypothalamus. And the one reference I found said the hypothalamus in all vertebrates pretty much is the same and only ver animals that have a Hypothalamus is vertebrates, and that's it. No, no other animal has it. And so uh, that's what I'm looking at. Anyways, I'm going to drink a water here. Without a tongue, I couldn't drink that. <laughs> really? When I mean, you think about it, I have to open my mouth and dump it. I'd be coughing, spending most of my time coughing. But anyway.